This computer-controlled parking tower has 10 parking levels above the entry exit level. Each level can park 50 cars. There are six entry exit lanes. A car stops. The driver takes a coded card with a detachable receipt and attaches the card to the side window for electronic identification. The electronic sign above assigns the driver to an available entry exit enclosure. Parking levels are above. They may also be below ground or both above and below ground. A security shutter rolls up. The driver enters and follows instructions as well as directional arrows. The driver applies brakes and departs through a security door. This view from above shows the car being rotated to face outward to facilitate departure later. The inner shutter retracts. A transfer forked unit lifts the car and moves it to a fixed fork on the rotating ring. The transfer unit returns to its turntable. The rotating ring aligns a car with the vertical conveyor. A transfer unit lifts the car and moves it onto a forked unit of the vertical conveyor and returns to its station. The chain drive rotates and conveys the car to an upper parking level. A vertical pallet pivots 90 degrees to floor level. To explain the parking process, parking levels and vertical conveyors decrease from 10 to 5 levels. At entry exit ground level, arriving cars are moved from enclosures to the rotating ring and from the rotating ring to vertical conveyors. The first parking level above the entry exit level shows cars rising in vertical conveyors. As each unloaded forked unit reaches the apex, it pivots through 90 degrees and descends vertically. There are parking bays on the rotating ring and outer stationary parking ring. A driver returns to retrieve his car and inserts the detachable receipt into a pay unit which displays payment due by cash or credit card. A number on the returned receipt and the screen directs the driver to the enclosure where the car will be located. Departing cars are transferred from the stationary parking bays to the rotating ring and then to the forked units on the vertical conveyors. Cars descend to ground level where they are moved to the rotating ring and from there to one of the nine security enclosures. The turntable rotates the car in the enclosure to align it with the exit. The driver enters the enclosure and starts the car. The departure shutter rolls up, the car's direction matches the traffic flow, and the driver is on his way. Square or rectangular linear systems replace the rotating ring with sliding platforms. Cars are transferred from security enclosures at entry exit level to vertical conveyors, which lift or lower them to different levels and transfer them to sliding platforms and then to parking bays. This small system shows parking bays for 15 cars per level. A square system with six turntables and three vertical conveyors parks 44 cars on each parking level. Square or rectangular systems may be enclosed in reinforced concrete structural walls